We welcome you into the Convocation Center on the campus of Ohio University as we get ready for the first of four district semifinals in Division Three here this afternoon. Dewey Daly along with John Bruce. Glad to have you with us. John South Point and Wheelersburg, the one seed versus the eight seed, the first of four games this afternoon. Should be a fun way to kick things off here at the combo. Yeah, it's, a, it's the best place to watch basketball in Southeast Ohio. They fixed the three-point line from the other day, and it's going to be a great day for basketball here at the combo. And when you mentioned the one versus the eight seed, I think in the preseason we might have thought these seeds were flipped. As South Point returned Caleb Lovely, uh, once again Southeast District Player of the Year in, in District 13, and we weren't sure what to think about Wheelersburg, but Wheelersburg has had an outstanding season, and therefore they're the one seed. Yeah, for Wheelersburg, they bring in Devin Lattimore, who comes over from Portsmouth, who plays in the game following this one, taking on the Mohawks of Northwest. He scored his 1,000th point a little bit earlier on in the season against Lucasville Valley. Now that in the regular season game, not their most recent yeah. game. Uh, in the tournament against the Indians. Second team all district in District 14. First team all OVC a season ago with the Trojans. He's been a big part of this Alex Prater led squad. Yeah, Coach Prater's done an outstanding job at, and when you talk about people that maybe got overlooked for awards, Alex Prater I think would be, would be one that you would say had to have got overlooked because when you looked at the District 14 teams, they had one player on one of the top three teams, which was Devin Lattimore, who was the second teamer. I mean, you only have one player on it. I would think that means you had the coach of the year, but Prater did not win coach of the year either. Uh, he's done an outstanding job. This is a really young roster as one of their, you know, uh, Connor Estep, one of their returning starters, is out for the year and hasn't played at all. So then you're pretty much replacing an entire team from a year ago. And, I mean, they've won way more than they lost, and they win the SOC three title. So, I mean, Coach Prater's done an outstanding job all season with the Pirates. Yeah, the Pirates come in 19-4, and 10-1 in the SOC three. That only loss being to South Webster the second time around. They won seven straight, taking down the Indians of Lucasville Valley 72-50 to in the sectional final now. They actually played their final regular season game a few days later at Fairland. That going goes into overtime. Pirates come away with the victory, 76 to 75. We'll see Fairland a bit later on here live on Southern Ohio Sports Authority, presented by Ohio Health when they take on the Minford Falcons, who we have seen our fair share of this mm -hmm. season. 33 consecutive seasons with at least one tournament win for the Pirates, 50 and 19 all time in the district tournament. It's such a crazy stat. We were talking about that on the way down, and just how consistent. Wheelersburg basketball has been on the boys' side and it, up until really this year, the girls' side as well. So it's an outstanding program. They have, you know, a culture of winning down there at Wheelersburg. And, and Coach Prater did a lot of winning too as he played on two regional championship teams, played twice at the shot when the games were up there uh, in the mid-2000s and has carried that over to the coaching ranks as well. And for the pointers, 14 and nine, nine and five out of the heavily contested Ohio Valley Conference. For the top five teams out of that conference making it to the district round, and the only reason one of them couldn't make it is because they played each other in the sectional mm -hmm. final, and would you believe it if I told you it was the team that won the OVC right. in Chesapeake. So the OVC was all over the place this season. If you tried to use common opponents and other outcomes as a way to uh, gauge upcoming matchups, but that's what makes high school basketball entertaining. You have Coach Travis Wise. Now the Pointers do lose their final four regular season games to Portsmouth once, Minford once, and then they lose to Ironton twice, but they pick up a win over Oak Hill in the first round of the tournament before knocking off Coach Buchler in Eastern Brown 50-48 to at the Waverly Downtown Gymnasium last Saturday. Yeah, that was or last a, Friday. I yeah, think. last Friday. It was, it was a game where they, not a lot of energy from South Point, but they made enough plays to earn the victory and get a get a return trip here to the combo where they went two and one a year ago, winning the district semifinal or winning the district final and the regional semifinal before falling in the regional championship game. It's a you know a South Park South Park South Point team that you, you have your all time leading scorer in Caleb Lovely. You've got a lot of other seniors that have played a lot of basketball. They've done a really good job of just winning. It's turning that into a winning culture, Coach. Why is this an outstanding job? We've got two really good coaching staffs in this game today. Uh, one thing for me to watch for, 
the other day, I mean, obviously, I, I gave them some grief over the three-point line. But how many of the kids are going to realize that the white line is the three-point line that they should be shooting from? Because I saw a kid that was shooting from four feet beyond the black. He did not make one the entire game. Uh, but it, it was just one of those things where uh, sometimes just seeing the extra lines can throw you off a little bit. South Point and Wheelersburg coming up next right here on Southern Ohio Sports Authority presented by Ohio Health. We will now pause for the playing of the National Anthem. everyone, Mike Glockner. I'm Brandon Callahan. Of the all-new Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Service Center in Portsmouth, Ohio. We have a $39.95 oil change special going on right now. That includes a free tire rotation and free multi-point inspection. Schedule your appointment online at glocknercdjrofportsmouth.com. Mark. Six months of training. Eight miles to go. A three-way tie for almost last place. And three years since he and his team at Ohio Health left cancer in the dust. Starters moments away from being introduced to the tip-off of tonight's quadruple header here at the Convo. First will be the South Point Pointers and the Wheelersburg Pirates. For the Pirates, it'll be number 10, a sophomore, Braylon Rucker. A 6'1", senior number 11, Devin Lattimore. A 6'0", junior number 12, Xander Mowry. A 6'4", senior number 20, Luke Swords. And a 6'2", sophomore, number 24, Landon McGraw. For the Pointers, it'll be a 6'3", senior, all-time leading scorer for the Pointers. Number zero, Caleb Lovely. Number four, a senior, 5'9", Elijah Wilburn. 6'3", senior, number 11, Zathan Haney. 5'10", senior, number 13, Josh Childers. And a 6'3", junior, number 24, Braden Hanshaw. Yeah, and this is, the, as we talked about in the pregame, this is the third different game we've done at South Point and the third different starting lineup that we've seen. It seems like they rotate some of the senior guards in and out while this is the same lineup that we've seen from the Pirates. Uh, for South Point, they're going to also play Carter Smith a good bit, number three. Uh, Wheelersburg, you're going to see number 14, Logan Atkins, number 15, Hunter Bivens, number 21, Kenyon Evans as well. Our officials for tonight's game, we have Rod Nichols, Keith Throckmorton, Jimmy Nicholson uh, with the alternative of Sean Willie. So, I mean, it's 
once you get to this point of the season, you're going to see some really good officiating crews, and we've got one on hand this afternoon. A senior guard at 6'1", number 11, Devin Lattimore. As you said, John, third time we've seen South Point this season, and it's really been pretty much two exactly opposite games as we see them take on Portsmouth, who we'll see in the next game against Northwest, beat them by over 30, and then having a really tight-knit game against the Indian, or excuse me, the Warriors in the sectional final against Eastern Brown. Yeah, it's it was, like you said, two opposite games, but the key for them in both games were that they pulled, pulled out the victory in both. Now one was pulling out the victory, and one was emphatically winning that game in the first half. Should be a fun one. Haney and Swartz head to the it's center circle. Lou Horvath getting everybody ready here at the convo. First of four district semifinals here this afternoon. Winner will move on to either play Northwest or Portsmouth, I believe next Saturday. Tip off underway, Pirates control the tip. And we are underway from the Convocation Center here at Ohio University. South Point coming out in the zone. Wheelersburg not the best shooting team, so I like that coaching strategy from Coach Wise. But Braylon Rucker can really shoot it. Swords kicks it out. Rucker for three. He's fouled. Three early free throws coming up for the six-foot sophomore. Yeah, Josh Childers just a little too aggressive on the close out there on that you know you got to stay on your feet when you don't stay on your feet that ends up causing the foul uh, now Rucker gets three shots first shot for Braylon Rucker is good and really sometimes it's hard to shoot here like to, to understand like the depth of everything because the walls are so far back as compared to a normal high school gym so this is actually really valuable for Rucker to get the three shots at the line to kind of test out the distance on it as both shots have been a little short, but he's got enough backspin on him to uh, get the roll. Two for three on the trip for Braylon Rucker. Rebound Haney off the miss. Lovely brings it up the near side for the pointers. Now Josh Childers at the top of the key. He's straight man to man, but Devin Lattimore is going to be on Caleb Lovely. Feed to Haney, top of the gee, he backs it back out. Now drives left side to Hanshaw, thanks to Wilburn across the top of the key, now right side with Childers. A lot of switching defensively for the Pirates in the early going. That's how you get a matchup like this. Pointers yeah. continue to move the ball around the top of the key. Lovely drives with the left hand, called for the offensive foul. Yeah, and right there, Swords. A little bit of a mismatch, but he's able to force him to his right. And Devin Lattimore able to step in and, and draw the contact to get the charge. Pointers come up empty on their first drive on the offensive side. Pirates take back over with a two-point lead. Pass to Lattimore, nearly taken away by Haney. Rucker retains possession in the backcourt. Pass to Lattimore, deep three on the way, drops it in. I'll say that about their shooting ability, and then Lattimore knocks down about a 24-footer. 5 nothing Pirates. 90 seconds in. Pointer still looking for their first points tonight. Lovely. Way downtown. Can't connect. Ball thrown back into play by Childers. Xander Mowry there for the loose ball. On the other end, Lattimore puts up another three. This time can't get it to go. Offensive rebound, Rucker. Swords from the elbow, pass to Lattimore, left side, puts it on the floor, drives past the Swords, down the lane, reverse layup is no good. Hanshaw the rebound for the pointers. Lovely pushes it up the near side, Haney, baseline drive, rejected by Swords. Offensive rebound, Wilburn, he kicks it to Haney, who drives baseline once again, right-handed runner won't go, rebound Lattimore. Big time block by Luke Swords. Pirates now the other way. Rucker can't connect from downtown. Defensive rebound for Haney. Pass up the far sideline to Lovely. He drives on Lattimore with the left hand. Pointers are on the board. 
Yeah, that's two or the three threes so far from Wheelersburg have all been very deep. So I, I would look for them to get a little closer from here on out. Lattimore spinning, driving through contact, finishes off the glass for two. Devin Lattimore, absolutely nasty, especially on the drive. Nice spin move there for the senior. Lead back up to two for the pointers. Check that, lead back up to five for the Pirates. Just kidding. Lovely. Fading away from about 10 feet. Can't get it to go. Rebound, Lattimore. Yeah, good defense there by Lattimore, forcing the lefty to be a little off balance. Lattimore, his third three of the night. This one he connects with. Eight points already for Devin Lattimore. Josh Childers pushing the tempo the other way. Gets Howry off balance. Pretty, pretty drive there by Josh Childers. Six-point lead for the Pirates. A little under halfway through the opening quarter of this afternoon's district semifinal. Lattimore cutting, can't control the pass. Mowry retains possession now top of the key with McGraw. Pretty fortunate there for the Pirates, a really low pass. Rucker from the right elbow, can't get it to go, rebound lovely. In transition, nobody picks up Caleb Lovely. He can't connect off the back iron, rebound Mowry. Very fortunate once again for the Pirates. You can't leave Caleb Lovely that open. Rucker drives, kicked to McGraw, left side, three, yes! I was just kidding about the shooting ability. That's three threes now, three for five. Nine point lead for the Pirates, 13 to four, 322 to go in the first. Lovely puts it on the floor, feet underneath, Hanshaw off the glass, won't go. Offensive rebound, Haney, he drives and is fouled. Xander Mowry called for the shooting foul. That'll send Zathan Haney to the line. Two shots coming up. Haney with the chance to get his first points of the game. He's got four rebounds already, including a couple offensive rebounds. Be a good way to kind of get the pointers, you know, resettled here, get a couple of easy points. Uh, but you got to get some stops on the defensive end because right now it's just Berg taking open shots from deep. They're all, they're all very deep threes, but at the same time, they've all been pretty open. Hunter Bivens, coming in. Hunter Bivens checking in for the Pirates. First time we've seen Carter Smith tonight as well. Haney sinks the pair. Lead is down to seven for the Pirates. Baseline drive for Mowry. His shot is altered by Zathan Haney. Rebound Lovely. Lovely pushes it ahead to Smith. Looking underneath for Wilburns. Bivens controls it near side. Gets the outlet pass to Rucker. Rucker ahead to Lattimore. Strong move inside. Draws the foul. Well, it was definitely a made basket. It's going to be the end one. And one for Devin Lattimore. Official held up two fingers after the foul. Wasn't sure if the continuation was called, if it was on the floor. Lattimore with 10 now. Nonetheless, a chance for... Devin Lattimore to extend the Pirates' lead to 10 with 2.44 to go in the first. Off the back iron, won't go, rebound Haney. We talk about Hunter Bivens. Couple big free throws down the stretch mm -hmm. in Minford a few yeah. weeks ago. Sophomore off the bench brings a lot of toughness for the Pirates and hit those big free throws, as you mentioned, in that game against Minford. Lovely trying to drive baseline into the paint. Up and under, rejected by Lattimore, who's called for the foul. Two free throws coming up for the 6'3 senior, Caleb Lovely. One thing to watch so far is now Lovely and Lattimore each have a foul. I'm guessing they're both going to be able to play, like they're going to be left in for a while if they do pick up a second foul. But just kind of you never know. 
Lovely with two. Struggled a little bit at the line in their last game in that Eastern Brown game. But gets the first one to touch every part of the rim and fall. Elijah Lane in for the pointers. Made a big three in that Eastern Brown game. 6-1 sophomore Kenyon Evans checks in for the Pirates. Also, had a, he may have only had two points in that game against Menver, but it was a big two points as at that point they had only had three guys score and got some big points from him, and I believe it was a three-point win. Second shot now for Lovely. Off the front iron, splits the pair. Logan Atkins brings down the rebound for the Pirates. Lattimore pushing the tempo the other way, loses the handle out of bounds. Pointers take over. It's a little too fast there. Carter Smith did a good job of running with Lattimore instead of trying to get away or really reaching there. Uh, causes him to lose control. And that is the first turnover of the game for the Pirates. Eight point lead for Wheelersburg. Evans tips the pass from Lovely out of bounds. It'll stay on this end with South Point. Carter Smith set to inbound near side, gets it into Haney on the other side of the floor. Two minutes to go in the first. Haney feeds to Lovely, fading away. Short range jumper won't go. Elijah Lane fighting for the offensive rebound. The junior can't control the basketball. It goes out of bounds. Pirates take over. I like that idea there from Coach Wise where get Lovely posted up on Lattimore and maybe you get a foul, uh, unable to do so there. But I like that strategy moving forward uh, to try to get Lattimore you know, onto the bench for the Pirates. Off the screen, Hunter Bivens pulls out from the free throw line, connects. Nice job by Bivens. Just gets that free throw line extended, knocks down the 15-footer. Now on the other end, Haney driving through contact. Draws the foul. It'll be on the floor, so a baseline out of bounds play underneath coming up for South Point. Both teams with three fouls. First on Logan Atkins. Elijah Lane set to inbound underneath for the pointers. Into Lovely, right corner. He puts it on the floor, driving inside. As we'll have a blocking foul called on Kenyon Evans. That'll be the first for the sophomore. I recall that a shooting foul, too. So. His first team fourth. Must have said that he would have been on the way up. Lovely split of pairs last time. You know, for as good of a shooter as Lovely's been, you know, from all over the court, uh, struggling at the line over the last two games. Remains a 10-point lead for the Pirates. Second free throw on the way for Lovely is good. That cuts Willersburg's lead down to nine. Four points now for the senior. Atkins to Evans in the left corner. Evans driving, spin move, up and under, scoop layup, won't go. Tough defense from Haney. Rebound lovely, he brings it across the timeline. Feed into the left corner to Elijah Lane. Lane drives, short range jumper is good from inside the paint. A nice job there by the junior just getting into the paint. Very similar to the Hunter Bivens made basket earlier, just a little closer on that one. Pirates now the other way. Rucker, right-handed floater is good. Tough layup, or tough runner there from Braylon Rucker. He's got four. Both teams pushing the tempo. Haney on the other end finishes with the foul. Yeah, Kenny Evans just probably as soon as he starts to go up, just got to get the hands back instead of trying to contest the shot. He's got two fouls already. Although they... Signaled that one on Lattimore. To the line with the bonus. Nathan Haney. Josh Childers back on the court for Caleb Lovely.
Haney able to convert the three-point play. Lead is down to six for the Pirates. Five points, five rebounds for Haney in this first quarter. Lisberg gets away with a walk right there. I believe they will now be holding for the last shot of the quarter. 16 seconds to go here in the opening quarter of tonight's district semifinal. Rucker driving down the lane, stripped by Smith. Pushes it ahead, Haney up for the slam, can't get it to go, rebound Bivens. Foul on the floor after the play. It will be on Haney, should be free throws on the other end. It's team four. Team four. Nonetheless, 2.7 seconds to go, inbound. Rucker from half court, heaves it at the rim, can't get it there. And that'll take us to the end of quarter number one. 19 to 13, the Pirates out in front, eight minutes in. We'll take a quick break. You're watching Ohio High School Boys Basketball on Southern Ohio Sports Authority, presented by Ohio Health. This broadcast is brought to you in part by Willie and Son Trucking. Willie and Son Trucking has been a proud supporter of local student athletes, coaches, and athletic programs throughout its history. Be sure to look out for the Shack Athlete of the Week presented by Willie and Son Trucking each week at SosaOhio.com. Kimberly. Tons of practice. One chop away from a black belt. Seven of the best sidekicks. And five years since her cancer diagnosis at Ohio Health. the score after one six point lead for the Pirates more or less controlled the entire opening quarter of play yeah they got off to a quick start uh, knocked down a couple of outside shots and and really were able to carry that over uh, throughout the quarter uh, they were led by Devin Lattimore with 10 points he was four for five from the field on the scoreboard they've got him with two fouls I think he's only got one but you know scoreboard's probably more accurate than I am up here First possession of the quarter will go with the pointers. I almost said psych on that. Left side, Carter Smith begins to penetrate. Contested right-handed shot won't go. Offensive rebound for Haney. His putback is no good. Able to bring down a second offensive rebound. This time connects. I think he was just trying to boost the, the uh, old rebounding numbers there. He's now up to 7.7 .7 rebounds already. Only nine minutes into this game. First trip on the offensive end. Lattimore connects from downtown. Three for four now from outside for Devin Lattimore. Buries another one. Back to a seven point lead. Pointers now on the other end. Caleb Lovely inside, can't get it to go. Offensive rebound and put back. It was good for Elijah Wilburn. 30 second timeout, Wheelersburg. Yeah, that's a good timeout for Coach Prater because that's Three offensive rebounds already in the first minute of this second quarter for the pointers. So you got to really hammer home the rebounding because that, to me, the biggest issue that Wheelersburg could face is the fact that they don't have a ton of size. So they've got a team rebound really hard and just not doing it so far here in the second quarter. So I think it's going to be important for them to pick that up here from this point on, because if you're playing good defense and South Point's missing that first shot, that's all they should get is that first shot. And right there, Coach Prater can't be very happy because that's, what, four points on five shots <laughs> and 59 seconds of this quarter. First two points of the game for Elijah Wilburn as well. Uh, when we talk about tough kids like Hunter Bivens, Elijah Wilburn's one of those kids that you don't really want to be guarded by him because of just the aggressiveness and toughness that he brings to the defensive end. Pirates now with the basketball up by five. A little under seven minutes to go here in the first half. 
And not a box of one, but they are denying Lattimore on the backside, although he's going to cut and get a layup. Shot from Lattimore won't go. Offensive rebound and put back is good for McGraw. Nice job there by McGraw. Gets the put back. Answers exactly what South Point had done to start this quarter with the putback. Pointers down the other way. Lovely. Driving baseline pass to Wilburn. Now top of the key, Haney puts up a long three off the back iron. Good box there by Xander Mowry. Carter Smith called for the foul after Xander Mowry brought down the defensive rebound. First of the quarter. First of the quarter. Remember, five fouls leads to free throws. Lattimore inside, spinning, fading away, rolls it over the front iron. Shot is good. I don't know if you could see the smile coming on Lattimore's face, but you could tell that he was going to the hole on that no matter what, and he gets the roll to fall. He's got 15. Caleb Lovely, step back three, can't get it to go. Offensive rebound, Wilburn keeps the possession alive. Feet underneath, Smith off the window, won't go. Another offensive rebound for Wilburn as it's taken away by Devin Lattimore. So once again, the pointers with multiple offensive rebounds there. Wheelersburg's got to fix that very soon. And I think it's going to be coming on the next sub with Luke Swords coming in. Lattimore cutting inside will have a foul. It'll be a shooting foul, so Lattimore will head to the line for two shots. 5.07 left in the second. And honestly, that's good officiating because he's not passing that ball. Well, he ends up passing it after he gets fouled, but he's going up for a shot on that, and that's just understanding the game, and that's going to get Lattimore to the line. He's 0 for 1 at the line, even though he is 6 for 8 from the field. And I'll say this, this is our second game doing. He's got 52 points with no free throws made in those two games for us that, for Devin Lattimore, as he was 0 for 0 in that 37-point performance at Menford. Which I feel is it's pretty impressive to <laughs> not get fouled. Second shot now for Lattimore. He splits the pair. Lead good. back up to 10 for the Pirates. Good adjustment there as he stepped further back from the line. Pointers now on the offensive end. Carter Smith in the right corner. On top of the key with Elijah Lane. Lovely called for the travel. That'll hand it back to the Pirates who are up by 10. Yeah, that's a good travel, though, because if he doesn't, if he just throws that ball originally, that's going to be two points on the other end for Devin Lattimore as he jumped that passing lane. That's why you don't leave your feet. Lattimore puts it on the floor. Shot rejected by Lane. Offensive rebound, McGraw. Top of the key three, Mowry connects. Wheelersburg just absolutely on fire. Five for eight from three-point range. And that's what's got him this 13-point lead. First time out of the afternoon for Coach Travis Wise. It'll be a full. And we'll step aside. You're watching Ohio High School Boys Basketball on Southern Ohio Sports Authority, presented by Ohio Health. There's not a Parmar store near you now. There will be soon. That's the slogan. And that's what we believe at Parmar Stores. From groceries to gas and all the other stuff you need, Parmar has it. Download the Parmar app for even more savings. And don't forget the Parmar Rewards Card, too. We also believe in being a big part of your community. So look for us at the ball game or wherever you are. Shop us today. Like us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And remember, if there's not a Parmar store near you now, there will be soon. This presentation of High School Sports on Southern Ohio Sports Authority is brought to you in part by your local McDonald's. 
McDonald's proudly supports all area athletes again this season. Visit your local McDonald's in Chillicothe, Circleville, Greenfield, and Waverly, and be sure to check out Sosa's newly relaunched podcast, Overtime, presented by McDonald's. First time out of the afternoon, used by head coach Travis Wise. 30-7 to lead, 30-17 to lead for the Pirates, a little less than halfway through quarter number two. Hey, we came back to Tayo Cruz. We had the Jonas Brothers on the last time out, so I'm... Back in my uh, early 2010s, I'm, I'm rocking out here at the combo. I am very glad it's not 30 to 7 like you had <laughs> slightly said right there. But, yeah, just not a ton of energy here in the combo in this early going. Uh, let's see if South Point can bring some of that energy now, uh, get themselves back into this game a little bit. Elijah Lane double teamed near side. Running out of time, gets it out to Haney. Left side with Smith, he drives through contact. Tough layup is good. Tough is right as he goes through a lot of contact and also is very unbalanced as he gets to the hoop. Good finish there for Carter Smith. Pass to the far sideline by Lattimore, taken away by Elijah Lane. Pointers now on the other end. Lovely left-handed runner off the front iron. Defensive rebound for Swords. Never see a carry there by Lattimore. Fourth turnover for the Pirates. So they've done a good job of controlling the ball, but that's also the third for Lattimore. So if there's one thing that he struggled with a little bit, it's just the ball handling at this point. He'll take a quick seat. So I'm guessing he probably does have the, the two fouls that's on the board. So he's got the 11-point lead. Get a little break. Entry pass right side to Lane. Now back to Smith, top of the key. Into Lovely. Back out to Haney. Right side, Elijah Lane feeds to Hanshaw. Rolling to the hoop, it's Lovely. He can't hang on to the pass. Steal for McGraw. On the break, McGraw to Mowry. Left side three, draws the foul. Second time Wheelersburg's been fouled on a three-pointer so far. Sometimes you don't see that happen twice in a week. Mowry's first trip to the line. He knocked down a three already. One for two at the one for two from the field so far for Xander Mowry. Mowry comes up short on the first, two more to go. 11, 11 point lead for the Pirates, 3.05 left here in the second quarter as Mowry connects with the second. Good adjustment there, getting the coin. Sometimes they don't do the coin sound. Uh, they did the coin sound in the middle of a shot the other day also. One for three on the trip, an offensive rebound for Xander Mowry. Mowry. And he gets it to go off the glass. More or less gets all three points yeah. to go. Carter Smith underneath is fouled. He'll head back to the line for two shots. Yeah, you don't see the own player getting his own offensive rebound on a free throw very often. I think you probably see the putback even less. So good hustle there by Xander Mowry. Three points now for Carter Smith. Second shot in and out for Carter Smith. Splits the pair. Mowry now with five boards to go along with his six points. Landon McGraw driving right side through contact. Can't get it to go. Offensive rebound, Atkins, top of the key, Swords, pumps, drives, scoop layup is good off the glass. Yeah, just right now out hustling the pointers. Good finish there by Luke Swords with the right hand. 15 point lead for the Pirates. Little over two minutes to go in the first half. 
Smith down the lane, gets it to go, and the foul. Yeah, Carter Smith is being the aggressor for South Point as he's the main player just going to the basket at this point, keeping them afloat at this point. He's got a chance to cut this back down to a 12-point game. Hunter Bivens back in for the Pirates and for Luke Swords. With Swords' second foul. One of the big differences right now, the Pirates are five for eight from deep, while South Point has not made one, over for four. Smith converts the three-point play, lead down to 12 for the Pirates. Six points now for Carter Smith, all here in the second quarter. McGraw spinning, fading away from the short range. It's good. That's a pretty move on the baseline for the sophomore. Lane now on the other end, kicks to Lovely. Now Smith in the corner. Skip pass over to Haney, nearly gets away from the senior. He reels it in. Nice hands for the quarterback there. In the short corner, Wilburn backs it out, top of the key, Haney. Puts it on the floor, step back from the mid-range, can't get it to go. Wouldn't have mattered either way as he's called for the push-off offensive foul on Haney. Yeah, good call there. Just a little late, but better late than never. Three on three on this end. McGraw kicks it out to Evans, right back to McGraw. Left side, Rucker puts up a three, can't connect. Ball is loose to the far sideline, thrown back into play by Lovely. Unable to do so before he towed the sideline, so it'll stay on this end with Wheelersburg. And Wheelersburg's just doing everything just a little bit better right now than South Point. From the rebounding, obviously the shooting has been a big difference, but uh, yeah, it's just been, and that's a big reason why Wheelersburg's got this lead. Lattimore to the left side, called for the travel before the pass to Bivens. So with 60 seconds to go in the first half, South Point takes over, trailing by 14. Yeah, the senior tried to jump stop and it just, it did not happen for him. <laughs> but good attitude about it on the way out. Smith brings it across half point for the pointers. Lovely. Left side, Haney, pump, step back three, can't connect. Evans, the defensive rebound for the Pirates, 37 seconds to go in quarter number two. Bivens drives, kicks it out, Atkins, who tries to drive, but it's taken away by Lovely right before that. Now Smith the other way, pulls up, short range jumper is good for Carter Smith. Eight points for Smith in the quarter. Six seconds to go here in quarter number two. Evans inside. Pass to Rucker, shot at the horn, off the glass, won't go. And that'll send us to the brink with a 12-point lead for the Pirates, 37 to 25. We'll step aside. You're watching Ohio High School Boys Basketball on Southern Ohio Sports Authority, presented by Ohio Health. Williams has transferred to Wendy's for the new loaded nacho cheeseburger. This burger is my inspiration, and I just hope to inspire you. Oh, you have inspired us. Thought we were doing names on the headband. Get it together. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's new loaded nacho cheeseburger. Richer. Countless nights in the garage. Eight shiny new pistons. One very happy. 
16-year-old granddaughter. And two years since starting cancer treatment at Ohio Health. Seven to twenty-five is our score after sixteen minutes. Been an impressive day so far for the Pirates, looking to make it back to the district final. Yeah, the Pirates have shot really well from the field so far. Thirteen to twenty-five from the field, uh, thirty-seven points so far on the day. They, they've just been really efficient on the offensive end, and a lot of times when they've missed, they've gotten the offensive rebounds to keep the possessions alive. Shot the ball well from deep, five and nine from the outside. Uh, led by Devin Lattimore's three of four from deep. And, you know, in the early going, I'm like, oh, you know, they don't shoot the ball really well. And five and nine in the first half is, uh, I would say, really well. So, my bad. So, for Wheelersburg, you know, haven't turned the ball over a whole lot. They turned it over a little bit more in that second quarter. They have six turnovers, four of those coming in the second quarter. But really, they just dominated this game from the early going as as they, uh, you know, I believe we were up 5-2 early, and, and since then it's been all Pirates. But for the pointers, you have to look at the fact you didn't make a three in the first half. Caleb Lovely has not shot the ball well at all, and you're only down 12. I mean, 12's a good, good bit, but, I mean, if you step up your defense, you have yourself at least – to be competitive here late in this game. Keep yourself uh, close in this one as it will be Willersburg ball to start the second half, but for the pointers, get some stops, put some stops together, try to get this thing down below eight, going in the fourth, and you got yourself a game. Yeah, eight points for Carter Smith all in that second quarter. They only shot 36% from the field in that first half while Wheelersburg shot 54%, 53.8%. And, you know, obviously that's you know, a fairly large difference. As mentioned in the pregame, the winner of this afternoon's district semifinal will move on to the district final where they'll face either Northwest or Portsmouth, the four and five seed in the Southeast District. That game coming up. After this one, we won't have that one live, but we will have Menford and Fairland a little bit later on this afternoon, slated for, I believe, a 6 6.30 start yeah. time. Yeah, because they, they've spaced them about an hour and 45 minutes.
I'm Brandon Callahan of the all new Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Service Center in Portsmouth, Ohio. We have a $39.95 oil change special going on right now. That includes a free tire rotation and free multi-point inspection. Schedule your appointment online at glocknercdjrofportsmouth.com. Mark, six months of training. Eight miles to go. A three-way tie for almost last place. <laughs> and three years since he and his team at Ohio Health left cancer in the dust. Thirty-seven to twenty-five, Pirates out in front at the break. Two twenty-five left here at halftime. Any offensive adjustments you're looking to see for? Either Wheelersburg to continue their leading ways here in the second half or for South Point to get back in this thing. Well, I think for Wheelersburg, you got to keep playing through Devin Lattimore and you got to keep crashing your boards like you have been. I, I think keeping pretty similar uh, aspect to your offense, I like them maybe attacking a little bit more this half. Don't settle for the threes because you're probably not. I'm going to say probably, probably not going to shoot five for nine again from the outside. And right now you're up 12, so you don't really need to do it. But if you've got an open shot from the outside, take it, knock it down. For South Point, I think you, you just got to do what you can to get Caleb Lovely going. He's he's only one of eight shooting, but he just looks very hesitant so far. And, you know, he's the all-time leading scorer at South Point for a reason. He had 38 points in a district championship game here last year and, and really carried them with another big performance in the regional semis. So... He shot the ball well here at this gym before. He's just got to either somehow believe in himself a little bit more because you know, show, he's got a chance to show he's the best player on the court. He's just got to do it. Because right now, Devin Lattimore on the other end is playing like he's the best player on the court, and he has been. He's, you can tell he's got the belief going, and that's something that you know, Caleb Lovely's got to pick up on is, is that belief that he's he's that dude. He's got the dog in him. He can be that. Uh, he's just got to do it. And for Lovely, started the first half with longer sleeves on, comes out of the break with short sleeves now, so maybe that'll be the difference for the 6'3 senior. 38 ticks left here at the break. Yeah, but I mean, could just be a confidence thing. And, hey, I didn't shoot well with the long sleeves. Let's go short sleeves. I wasn't feeling like maybe he's not getting the proper extension that he was hoping to. So we'll, we'll see here in this second half. Got to get some stops early if you're South Point. They're going to come back, not the starting lineup, as Carter Smith will start the second half. It'll be him instead of Josh Childers out there. But as we mentioned earlier, Minford and Fairland coming up later here on Southern Ohio Sports Authority slated for a 6.30 start time. That game on the other side of the district, so that winner will play the winner of the night camp tonight, Ironton and North Adams. First possession of the half goes to the Pirates. We are underway here in quarter number three. Elijah Wolburn is now face guarding Devin Lattimore. Away from the ball, everyone else playing straight man. Quick offensive foul on the offensive end for the Pirates. Yeah, Swords just stepped out on the play. Just, and what I've always told Biggs, it's not your fault if you don't set the screen if you're there. If the kid doesn't run off the screen, you can't move to get there because then it's obviously an offensive foul. And it's on the player running off the screen. It's not, you know, obviously not the screener's fault if, the defender doesn't run into him. So the Pirates come up empty on their first trip. On the offensive end, Pointers now looking to dig into this 12-point lead. For the Pirates, lovely left side. Check that right side three. Can't connect. Rebound, Lattimore. But I'm glad he shot it. I mean, you got to, you know, if you're Caleb Lovely, you just got to get shots up at this point. Pass to McGraw, left elbow, he backs it out. Now Mowry back to McGraw.
Devin Lattimore, left elbow jumper is good. 18 now for Lattimore. Dude is, he just needs us to be here streaming. It's 55 in the two, really six quarters in a minute that we've had him so far this year. Pointers continue to move the, the ball around the top of the key. Scoreless in the first 90 seconds of the half. Nearly lose possession, Carter Smith can't connect from downtown, rebound Mowry. Pushed ahead McGraw, Euro stepping on the other end, can't get it to go off the backboard. Pointers now the other way, Smith, hop step inside, tough defense in the interior by Swords. Unable to control the defensive rebound, it'll stay on this end. Yeah, a lot of that comes from Elijah Wilburn crashing the boards right there and ends up forcing it to where Swords gets moved a little bit and just knocks his hands out of motion and he's unable to control it. Carter Smith now set to inbound underneath for the pointers. Haney, down the lane, right-handed shot won't go. Offensive rebound, Hanshaw. His putback is no good, out of bounds. It'll once again stay on this end with South Point. A lot of contact down there on that end, but for South Point, they'll keep possession. Carter Smith sent to inbound once again from underneath, gets it into Lovely. Now Smith right side, right back to Lovely. From the free throw line, Haney can't connect, rebound Lattimore. Got to get the shoulders squared. Top of the key, Rucker, left elbow, jumper off the front iron. Caleb Lovely, the rebound for the pointers. Lovely, nice find underneath, Haney dishes it off to Hanshaw, and his shot off the glass is good. First two points for Hanshaw. Good find by Caleb Lovely before Haney does a nice job finding Hanshaw. Devin Lattimore once again called for the walk. Yeah, the, the only downfall of his game so far has been turnovers. It's his fifth turnover. But I think with his 18 points and his four boards, you'll, you'll kind of take a little bit of that. But South Point not coming out with really any energy, but withstands that first three minutes, and, and we're even right now here in the second half. Even second half thus far. Still a 12-point lead for the Pirates. Off-balance shot from Smith won't go. Rebound Swords. Lattimore pushing the tempo the other way. Draws the foul on the layup. I think that was Caleb Lovely got a hand on him. Yeah, it'll be his second. Lattimore, one for three at the line so far today. He's got a chance to get over the 20-point mark here if he knocks down both. Second shot now for Lattimore is no good. Splits the pair. Fifth rebound for Elijah Wilburn. Smith now the other way up over the rim and in. First pointer to 10 points for Carter Smith. Pointers now winning the half by one. McGraw passes to Rucker. He kicks to Maori in the corner who drives. Off balance shot is no good. I think Lovely just probably got away with a hook there as Landon McGraw couldn't move, so. See if South Point can take advantage of that quick shot. Pointers take over, four minutes to go in the third. 
trailing by 11. Feed to Hanshaw, pass to Wilburn, as it's tipped out of bounds by Braylon Rucker. Hunter Bivens will check in for the Pirates. Replacing Luke Swords. Subbing in for Luke Swords. Baseline out of bounds play now for the pointer. Smith into Haney on the right wing. Haney from the mid range, can't connect. Defensive rebound for McGraw. McGraw, left side, three, can't connect. Defensive rebound for Lovely. Pass ahead to Hanshaw. 6'3", Junior not ready for it. Can't control the pass. Out of bounds. Pirates take over. Yeah, and that's a couple of golden opportunities for the pointers that they have not taken advantage of here to start this third quarter. They've, they have cut in the lead, but only by a point. Can't have those turnovers, especially when you have a little bit of a numbers advantage going the other way. Josh Childers checks in for the first time this half. And for Hanshaw. Pirates now back on the offensive end. Off the screen, Lattimore, double team, Childers with the takeaway. Loses the handle, diving on the floor, gets it out to Caleb Lovely. Lovely on the drive. Finishes, the foul will be on the floor. And that's, to me, a really good foul because if Lovely's got a chance to see the ball go in, you never know what he can get going. So that's a good foul there by Hunter Bivens to stop the momentum and not let him get an easy layup. Childers into Smith. Smith feeding to Haney, taken away by Landon McGraw. It rolls out of bounds, so another baseline out of bounds play coming up for South Point. Even though these Wheelersburg kids, a lot of them are, are pretty young physically. I mean, a lot of sophomores out there are very strong as McGraw just ripped that ball away. Childers into Wilburn, right side three. Caleb Lovely can't get it to go. Defensive foul underneath, away from the ball. Looks like it'll be on Xander Mowry. Second now on Mowry. Childers once again set to inbound underneath. Into Smith, corner three, can't get it to go. Smith throwing it back into play, right to Braylon Rucker. Rucker now swings it to McGraw. He drives, shot off the glass is good. Good finish there for Rucker. He's got seven now. Extends the Pirate lead to 13. Haney, up and under, layup won't go. Offensive rebound, put back, won't go as well. Pirates now the other way. Mowry can't connect from downtown. Rebound, Childers. Three on three, fast break. Smith from the corner. Euro stepping inside. His shot off the backboard is good. 12 now for Carter Smith. Lead back down to 11 for the Pirates. Two oh three 3 to go in the third. 42-31, Wheelersburg. It's only six to five here in the quarter. Pass underneath to McGraw, rejected by Caleb Lovely. Offensive rebound, Rucker. Left side, Bivens. Can't hit from downtown. Offensive rebound for Bivens, keeps the possession alive. And we'll have a timeout for Wheelersburg. It's gonna for be a second full. of the afternoon, it'll be a full timeout for head coach Alex Prater, so we'll step aside. You're watching Ohio High School Boys Basketball on Southern Ohio Sports Authority, presented by Ohio Health. This broadcast is brought to you in part by Willie and Son Trucking. Willie and Son Trucking has been a proud supporter of local student athletes, coaches, and athletic programs throughout its history. Be sure to look out for the Shack Athlete of the Week, presented by Willie and Son Trucking, each week at SosaOhio.com. Kimberly, tons of practice. One chop away from a black belt. Seven of the best sidekicks. And five years since her cancer diagnosis at Ohio Health. Are you ready? Are you ready? 
Second time out this afternoon for Coach Alex Prater. Still hanging on to three with 144 left in the third. Four timeouts remaining for South Point and Coach Travis Wise, who are trailing currently by 11, 42-31 lead for the Pirates. Yeah, right now South Point just still not making any shots outside of the paint and, and thus is really hamstringing any chance they have to make a make a run. I mean, they are outscoring the Pirates here in the quarter, but it's only 6-5. to five. So, I mean, it's not like they've put on an offensive display. They've taken a lot of shots in this quarter, just have not shot it very well. Bivens double-teamed at half court, nearly taken away by Elijah Wilburn. A good adjustment there, just unable to get the steal as they nearly get an easy basket on the other end. Pirates able to hang on to the basketball. Left side, right-handed runner is good for Braylon Rucker. Second runner of the game for Rucker. He's got six points now. Lead back up to 13 for the Pirates. Off the screen, underneath, Childers draws the foul. Yeah, that, that was the kind of Gonzaga action that they ran a lot last week against Eastern Brown where the one person that can set that screen and roll to the basket is Elijah Wilburn. But they hit him there, he hits the cutting Childers. Now he's going to get a chance to get two points at the line. First free throw of the game for Childers. Two for two on the trip for Josh Childers. Cuts the lead back down to 11, a score that has seemed to kind of be the hump so far in the second half for South Point. Lattimore. Feeding to Evans, strong move underneath, too strong. He's called for the offensive foul. Yeah, good job there by Haney, just waiting for it. Takes the full contact, makes it a pretty easy call for the official. Landon McGraw checks back in for the Pirates. Forty-four, thirty-three. Pirates out in front. Forty-five seconds to go in the third. South Point will get the ball to start the second or the fourth quarter. Smith, long range two, can't connect. Smith regains the offensive rebound, gets it out to Haney, who drives back out. Elijah Lane, his first three of the night, puts it in. Hey, and then we get a little bit of energy coming from the crowd here for the pointers really for the first time tonight on the other end Lane strips it away 12 seconds to go in the quarter Smith driving as Lattimore is called for the foul it's going to get a chance to go to the line now to the third on Lattimore how about the junior big three on the offensive end takes it away from Devin Lattimore on the other now two free throws coming up for Carter Smith Now two for four at the line for Carter Smith. Second shot now for Smith is good. Cuts the lead down to seven, eight seconds to go in the third. Bivens. Left side, feed to Atkins for three, drops it in. That'll send us to the final quarter of play, a 10-point lead for the Pirates. Huge shot there by Logan Atkins to end the quarter. 47-37 Pirates. We'll be back in a moment. You're watching Ohio High School Boys Basketball on Southern Ohio Sports Authority, presented by Ohio Health. 
there's not a Parmar store near you now, there will be soon. That's the slogan, and that's what we believe at Parmar stores. From groceries to gas and all the other stuff you need, Parmar has it. Download the Parmar app for even more savings, and don't forget the Parmar Rewards Card, too. We also believe in being a big part of your community, so look for us at the ball game or wherever you are. Shop us today, like us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and remember, if there's not a Parmar store near you now, there will be soon. This presentation of High School Sports on Southern Ohio Sports Authority is brought to you in part by your local McDonald's. McDonald's proudly supports all area athletes again this season. Visit your local McDonald's in Chillicothe, Circleville, Greenfield, and Waverly, and be sure to check out Sosa's newly relaunched podcast, Overtime, presented by McDonald's. 47-37 is our score after three. A big shot by the 6'2 sophomore Logan Atkins to end the third. Pushes the lead for the Pirates. Back up to 10, makes for an interesting fourth quarter of play here at the Convocation Center on the campus of Ohio University. And it felt like for the first time today, South Point had some momentum. And then Logan Atkins just more or less ripped it away there to end the quarter. Pointers will start off the final of quarter of play with the basketball. Eight minutes of regulation left to go. Caleb Lovely remains on the bench for Coach Travis Wise to begin the fourth. Hanshaw into Wilburn, through contact, can't get it to go. But two free throws coming up for the 5'9 senior. Yeah, he plays a lot bigger than 5'9". You can tell he was a standout running back for them, just with his toughness on the inside. Gets a chance to, he's got one point, or two points on the day, gets a chance to extend that. First shot for Wilburn is no good. Wilburn one of two on the trip. Cuts the lead for the Pirates down to nine. Left wing, Atkins inside. Euro stepping, reverse layup is good. 11 points now for Landon McGraw. Nice drive and finish there for the sophomore. Pirates back up by double digits. An 11 point lead with 7-10 to go in the quarter. Smith on the drive, right-handed runner off the rack board and rim won't go. Offensive rebound for Wilburn. Underneath, Wilburn. Going to get a timeout. timeout. So we'll have a timeout for seconds. the pointers. 30-second timeout for Coach Travis Wise, their second this afternoon. One thing I'd be, I'm saying for the pointers, Elijah Lane's got to scream for that ball because he's the only person that's knocked down a three-point shot for the pointers on the day was wide open on that possession, but they're able to save the possession based off of the effort there by Elijah Wilburn. Still an 11 point lead here for the Pirates. I mean, for South Point, they gotta get something going offensively because they've done a lot better job defensively on Wheelersburg here in the second half. But like you mentioned, seven points is the closest they've gotten. And it, it's felt like it's been at 11 pretty much this entire second half. Three timeouts remaining for both squads as we are under seven minutes to go in regulation. Division three district final in the Southeast District baseline out of bounds play now for the pointers. Haney pass into Wilburn redirected by Mowry. It's very close to traveling, good job thinking about it and getting the dribble. Wilburn able to retain possession for the pointers. They'll now look to cut into this 11 point lead. Lovely back into the contest. Underneath through contact, just can't get it to drop in. But he'll have two free throws coming up with 6.39 to go in the fourth. That time he gets, gets the ball, drives hard to the basket. Now he's gonna get a chance to get going at the free throw line. It's only two for four at the line so far today. 
but has a chance to you know, get some confidence going here at the stripe. Lovely knock down the first, second free throw on the way is good. He sinks the pair. He's got six now. Lattimore brings it across the timeline for the Pirates. It's taken away by Wilburn. Pointers with numbers. Haney underneath, stripped by Lattimore. Haney retains possession, but quickly calling for the offensive foul. Nice job recovering there by Devin Lattimore after the turnover, gets back, draws the contact. Third foul now on Zathan Haney. And that's a big change of change of momentum right there is it felt like, once again, South Point had a chance to cut into the lead and just unable to do so. Rucker brings it up the far sideline, hands it off to McGraw. Now Lattimore, top of the key three, off the backboard. It's good. When you're hot, you're hot. Eight for 11 now from the field for Devin Lattimore. He's got 22 points. Lead is back up to 12. Haney, left corner, three, can't connect. Offensive rebound, Childers over to Smith. His shot off the backboard is good. And we'll have our third timeout of the night. It's going to be another 30. Good effort there all around by the pointers. A lot of quick ball movement there. It leads to the layup. They have to get a stop on the other end. I will say one thing. I, I you know, not a, making assumptions, but I'm going to go ahead and just guess that Kev Lovely is not feeling well. It's, even on his free throws, he hasn't had a lot of legs on him. His jumpers have been short. So if he can just keep getting to the basket or like on that possession, he gets to the middle. They have to dive down on him. Haney's not able to make the three, but if he can get himself inside, even if he's not making shots, he's so valuable to their offensive attack that playing through him has a chance to get other guys open like we just saw there, and it ends up eventually leading to two points. Pirates basketball out in front by 10. 52-42, 5.45 to go in the quarter. Top of the key, McGraw feed to Lattimore, driving right side from 10 feet, can't connect. Offensive rebound, Swords keeps the possession alive for the Pirates. Huge play by Luke Swords. Big missed opportunity for the Pointers as well. Rucker now puts it on the floor through contact. Can't get it to go out of bounds on Rucker. Tough defense on the inside by the pointers. Childers passes it ahead to Smith across the timeline. Smith from 15 can't connect. Offensive rebound Haney. Draws contact underneath. Two free throws coming up for the 6-3 senior. Haney, three for three at the line in the first quarter. He's now got eight boards, seven points. Need him to get going a little bit scoring here as well. Elijah Lane back in for the pointers as Haney splits the pair. Back down to nine for the Pirates. Lattimore underneath, can't get it to go off the glass, rebound Smith. 
Up the near sideline, Smith driving, kicks it out. Haney for three, can't connect. Offensive rebound, Childers. Extended possession now for the pointers. Carter Smith off the backboard, it's good. Elijah Lane, his second steal of the night. Lane on the drive, blocked by Rucker, who's called for the foul. Big minutes for Elijah Lane here in the second half. Yeah, Lane's got five points, two or two from the field. He's got a chance to extend that, his first trip to the line. He is the only one who's made a jump shot tonight for the pointers. Closest the game's been since the first quarter. Timeout for the Pirates. It will be a full, so we'll step aside. You're watching Ohio High School Boys Basketball on Southern Ohio Sports Authority, presented by Ohio Health. There's not a Parmar store near you now, there will be soon. That's the slogan, and that's what we believe at Parmar stores. From groceries to gas and all the other stuff you need, Parmar has it. Download the Parmar app for even more savings, and don't forget the Parmar Rewards Card, too. We also believe in being a big part of your community, so look for us at the ball game or wherever you are. Shop us today, like us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and remember, if there's not a Parmar store near you now, there will be soon. This presentation of High School Sports on Southern Ohio Sports Authority is brought to you in part by your local McDonald's. McDonald's proudly supports all area athletes again this season. Visit your local McDonald's in Chillicothe, Circleville, Greenfield, and Waverly, and be sure to check out Sosa's newly relaunched podcast, Overtime, presented by McDonald's. Third time out this afternoon used by Coach Alex Prater. His Pirates out in front by six with a 52-46 to 46 score. 425 left in regulation. One more free throw coming up for the junior, Elijah Lane. Yeah, that's three turnovers so far in this quarter for the Pirates. And then also a, a couple of rush shots on the other end, too. I think Coach Prater's got to calm his guys down a little bit because this game that was up to 15 points at one point is down to a six-point lead with 425 left to play. Back end of a two-shot trip on the way for Elijah Lane as he sinks the pair. Five-point lead now for the Pirates, the lowest it's been for quite some time. I don't know if the sub's going to actually come in. I'm very confused by this. Oh, Carter Smith had just went out. Lattimore across the timeline, feed to McGraw, loses the handle, out of bounds, pointers take over. South Point faithful beginning to come to life here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, and South Point just speeding up Wheelersburg at this point, and that's what's got them back into this game. It's not been outside shooting. It's been effort and defense so far. If they can knock down an outside shot, this place might explode. Pointers looking to get it done with their district player of the year still on the bench. Childers kicks it to Smith who drives. Now Lane pumps on the three. Haney, 15-footer, won't go. Offensive rebound, Carter Smith, Childers. Right-handed runner off the back iron. Rebound, Lattimore. <laughs> Foul underneath. Looks like it'll be on the Pirates. It's going to be called on Lattimore. That's four now on Lattimore. We saw Lattimore foul out against Minford a few weeks ago in the final 30 seconds of that contest. Something to look for here in the second half of the fourth quarter here tonight. Five-point lead for the Pirates, 3.45 to go in the fourth. And that's the fifth team foul also. So now Zathan Haney has a chance to cut this lead down even further. First shot for Haney is no good. Remains a five-point lead for the Pirates. Now four or six at the line on the night. 
I wouldn't be surprised to see South Point sending just somebody getting down on the block waiting for Lattimore to try to draw a charge to get us fifth. Down to a four-point game. Bivens brings it near side out to Lattimore. Four-point lead for the Pirates, Lattimore. He drives, fading away, off the back iron, rebound Haney. Haney brings it up the far sideline. They got a skip to Elijah Lane, didn't see it though. Lane, from the free throw line, out to Childers. Wilbur now, feed to Haney, underneath, draws the foul on Luke Swords. And be Swords is fourth. All the momentum now is with the pointers. Haney with nine points, ten boards here on the day. Now a double double. Second shot now for Haney is good. Lead down to two for the Pirates. I believe the lowest it's been since the first quarter. And early in the first quarter as well. Two forty-five to go. In regulation, McGraw driving, poked away by Childers. Rucker there for the loose ball. Pirates not really in any offense right now. Nice Simmons cut. backdoor find to Mowry, who's fouled by Lane. And really, where you get them spread out, if you can finally get some penetration, which is what Hunter Bivens does right there. And now Xander Mowry with a nice cut. He's going to go to the line. Only one for three at the line so far, though. First foul tonight for Ethan Lane. As Mowry unable to hit the first. And that's a really good foul there by Ethan Lane. Because they know instead, instead of the, the layup for the easy two points, at most they're going to get one unless you don't box out again and he gets the offensive rebound. Second shot for Mowry is no good. Haney the rebound for South Point remains a two-point lead for the Pirates. Baseline drive for Haney, loses control. Mowry with the loose ball. On the break, Mowry spinning, up for the layup, it's no good. Offensive rebound, Rucker gets it to go, and the foul. Huge play by Braylon Rucker. Great job hustling. Gets the two points on the other end. We almost, almost a disaster there for the Pirates, but the ball Fortunately for them, goes to Sandra Mowry with a great hustle by Braylon Rucker. Chance now for Rucker to push it to a five-point lead for the Pirates, which he's unable to do. Childers the rebound for the pointers. Two minutes to go in regulation. Lattimore nearly comes away with the steal on the other end. Childers sent to inbound, far sideline, gets it into Smith. Haney, driving baseline, hop step, looking outside for Wilburn. Xander Mowry corrals the loose ball on the break. Mowry draws the foul. Two more free throws coming up for Xander Mowry. Yeah, it's just two not very good possessions for South Point. Couple turnovers in a row. Mowry picks off both of them. 
But really, I mean, he's one for five at the line so far. That's a good foul by Eliza Wolburn. I think we're going to get a substitution here with an injury. And one of the big advantages to high school basketball with an injury right there, now you can bring in one of your better free throw shooters, where in college they get to pick who goes in. Bivens in for Mowry. He knocks down the first. It's a huge break for Wheelersburg. Bivens, one of two on the trip. Haney the rebound. Lead back up to five. Lane on the left wing. Yeah, this zone has gotten South Point a lot higher now. Devin Lattimore that, smothering defense on the baseline as Carter Smith is called for the offensive foul. And that could have been huge if that would have been called on Lattimore. Really gutsy play there by Devin Lattimore to go for the steal. Now he's going to get to the free throw line. So we're going to see Caleb Lovely coming back in. Maybe just hoping they can get something offensively out of the senior. Devin Lattimore to the strike with a double bonus. He might have just went cheat code on that to get the lane violation to where it doesn't count as a missed free throw. I don't know if that's how, like. Nonetheless, the first free throw for Lattimore is no good. Keeps it at a five point game, 55 to 50 Wheelersburg. As Lattimore is able to knock down the second push to lead to six. Caleb Lovely back in for the pointers, 120 to go in the fourth. Ethan Lane right side, now top of the key with Smith. Childers penetrates out to Lovely, contested three, can't connect. Rebound Bivens, pushed ahead, Kenyon Evans on the break, loses the handle, can't get it to go. As Ethan Lane called for the foul. So two free throws coming up for the 6'1 sophomore, Kenyon Evans. He'll be at the line for the first time. Now, the big thing today, you know, Wheelersburg has not shot well from the line at all. So that could be something, you know, it still could hurt him today, but it also could hurt him down the line as well. Zathan Haney back in. Zathan Haney checks in for Elijah Wilburn. Second shot now for Evans. No good, 0 of 2 on the trip. Forty-eight seconds to go, lovely. Right side of the floor, driving inside, gets it out, Childers, long range three, can't connect. Lattimore the rebound, spins out of a double team, pushes it ahead to Braylon Rucker underneath. Back out to Lattimore, up for the layup. Shot is good. Good recovery there by Rucker. Lovely, a three ball on the other end, connects. Timeout pointers will be their final full of the afternoon. We'll step aside. You're watching Ohio High School Boys Basketball on Southern Ohio Sports Authority, presented by Ohio Health. There's not a Parmar store near you now, there will be soon. 
That's the slogan, and that's what we believe at Parmar Stores. From groceries to gas and all the other stuff you need, Parmar has it. Download the Parmar app for even more savings, and don't forget the Parmar Rewards Card, too. We also believe in being a big part of your community, so look for us at the ball game or wherever you are. Shop us today, like us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and remember, if there's not a Parmar store near you now, there will be soon. This presentation of High School Sports on Southern Ohio Sports Authority is brought to you in part by your local McDonald's. McDonald's proudly supports all area athletes again this season. Visit your local McDonald's in Chillicothe, Circleville, Greenfield, and Waverly, and be sure to check out Sosa's newly relaunched podcast, Overtime, presented by McDonald's. 58 to 53 is our score with 23 and a half seconds to go in the final quarter of regulation. Big three by Caleb Lovely before the timeout to cut the Pirates lead down to five. He checks back out as I believe Elijah Wilburn comes back in for him. Yeah, he's just got no legs. I mean, he, he's had nine, he's battled through it, um, but it's been a, a lot of flat. Um, good to see him make a shot though. Bivens now inbounding baseline into Lattimore. Pushes it up the near side to McGraw. Pass to the middle of the floor to Rucker. It's out of bounds on the pointers. Lane just, it just comes off his knee. Just really unfortunate there for the pointers as they almost get the big steal. Lattimore inbounds to McGraw. Is quickly fouled by Childers. The first free throws for Landon McGraw. Josh Childers picking up the foul. That's his third. Landon McGraw on the line. Double bonus. They're now 7 of 19 from the free throw line. Seven of 19. In and out on the second free throw for McGraw. He's unable to hit either of the pair. Lane on the other end, puts up a corner three, won't go. Offensive rebound, Smith, his put back is good. The lead is cut down to three for the Pirates. Timeout, South Point. Yeah, now it's, you know, you're down to your last chance. Have to get a steal. Like, I'm not even gonna say it's their last chance. Seven of 20 from the line so far for Wheelersburg. At some point, they're gonna make another one. But if you foul immediately, if you're South Point, you still have to feel like you have a chance even with only 3.8 seconds left in the game. For Wheelersburg, you gotta get the ball in. I think you gotta do what you can to get it to either Rucker or Lattimore. And just think, hey, one of these guys, they're gonna make at least one. You make one, it's over. But you still gotta get the ball in. You got two timeouts left. You can run, you can run the baseline. So that's something to look for also for the Pirates. They've got a lot of different ways they can get the ball inbounds here. A lot of teams have had a lot of trouble getting the ball inbounds. This is no longer a simple thing. I, I think it was Virginia lost in the NCAA tournament last year because they couldn't get the ball inbounds. We've seen other teams lose along the line throughout the high school season because they couldn't get the ball in bounds. So for South Point, even though it's a very, very, very long shot right now, you still got to think, hey, we have a little bit of a chance. Rucker inbounding, gets it in quickly to McGraw. McGraw across half court. Foul is whistled in as the time expires, and that'll do it. Well, just get the ball in. Get 58 <laughs> to 55 is our final from the convo. The Pirates will be returning to the Convocation Center next Saturday night. We will take on the winner of Northwest and Portsmouth coming up a bit later on here at the convo. We'll take a quick break. You're watching Ohio High School Boys Basketball on Southern Ohio Sports Authority, presented by Ohio Health. 
Williams has transferred to Wendy's for the new loaded nacho cheeseburger. This burger is my inspiration, and I just hope to inspire you. Oh, you have inspired us. Thought we were doing names on the headband. Get it together. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's new loaded nacho cheeseburger. Richard. Countless nights in the garage. Eight shiny new pistons. One very happy 16-year-old granddaughter. And two years since starting cancer treatment at Ohio Health. Fifty-eight to fifty-five is our final from the Convo Wheelersburg. Moving on to the district final, they'll have Northwest or Portsmouth. The meeting between those two coming up here in about a half hour at the Convo. South Point fighting all the way back, cutting it down to as low as two. Wheelersburg leading by as much as fifteen. Just couldn't get over the hump to take a lead in the second half. Yeah, they they got it down to two. Just. Couldn't, like you said, couldn't get over the hump. Really didn't make any outside shots until you know we came down late in the game. Got a couple, got a couple shots. You know, Ethan Lane did a nice job coming off the bench, especially with Lovely not really able to do a whole lot tonight. Uh, Lovely hits a three late, but other than that, they just did not shoot the ball well at all. But I think you got to give a lot of credit to South Point for how hard they battled to get back into this game today. I mean, just 30.4% I mean, from the field, 12.5% from the three-point line. He did not shoot the ball well, and you had a chance late in the game. So, I mean, yes, there's no, you know, no hollow victories like that for them. And, but it's, you still, if you're South Point, if you're a fan, you got to be happy with the effort your guys gave to battle back into the game. They were led today by Carter Smith with 19 points, 8 to 17 shooting. I don't know if that's a career high, but he played really well and, and really, after the first quarter, really got them going on the offensive end. 11 points, 13 rebounds for Zathan Haney, 9 points for Caleb Lovely, 7 points for Ethan Lane off the bench. Well, also, Carter Smith was off the bench as well because he, he didn't start tonight. Uh, four points for Josh Childers. Did a nice job rebounding, especially that second half. Elijah Wilburn is going to be a huge loss for them. Obviously, you know the other guys that are doing the scoring. He had seven rebounds in the game, and he probably got his hand on four or five other balls to try to keep plays alive on the offensive end. Um, he had three points, two points for Braden Hanshaw. For the Pirates, they were led by Devin Lattimore with 25 points. Also had five rebounds on the day. Shot the ball really well from the field. Uh, I had him as nine for 15 from the field. Eight points for Braylon Rucker. Six points for Xander Mowry. Three points for Logan Atkins. But that huge three at the end of the third quarter. That made it a 10-point game. Hunter Bivens with three points. Luke Swords with two. Kenyon Evans did not score. And then... Landon McGraw with 11 points. Big thing for Wheelersburg. Shot 48% from the field, 50% from three, but only 35% from the foul line. Seven of 20 at the strike for the Pirates. That has to change and be fixed going into next week's game. Because what, like, also, they made their first two free throws of the game. The first two points of the game they scored were from the foul line. So after those first two, they were five of 18. So, you know, I, I think the good thing for Coach Prater, they're going to have a lot they can look at on film, like, hey, we got to fix this or else we're going to be done after next Saturday. But I think they're well coached. This was the first time at the convo for any of those kids. So even though you, know, you have a senior in Lattimore and another senior in Swords, like they, they hadn't played here before. So... Get that first win out of the way. No matter what happens at this point in the season, you win and you're happy. You take it, you win ugly, it doesn't matter because you get the win. I guarantee South Point would take it if you told them they were going to win ugly. So, I mean, for the Pirates, 
their 20th win of the season, which I think a lot of people probably did not anticipate when coming into this season. A great season, but they don't want it to be done yet. And uh, they're going to have a tough task next week against whichever one of these teams from Sayada County that they match up with here at the Convo next Saturday at 4 p.m. South Point wraps up their season 14-10. and 10. Nothing to hang their heads about, losing to the one seed in the Wheelersburg Pirates. 58 to 55 is the final from the Convocation Center. Thank you all for tuning in this afternoon. We'll be back live for the game following Portsmouth and Northwest Minford and Fairland slated for a 6.30 start time. Big thank you to all of our winter sports live stream sponsors. Glockner family of dealerships, Parmar stores, Willie and Son Trucking, McDonald's, the Schmidt Family Restaurant Group, and Horizon. Also, big thank you to Kenneth A. for making the trip down here to Athens to help run the camera for the stream. Greatly appreciated, as always, from Kenneth A. That'll do it for our coverage this afternoon from the Convo. Once again, the final, Wheelersburg 58, South Point 55. Dewey Daly and John Bruce signing off on Southern Ohio Sports Authority, presented by Ohio Home.